For those of you that I didn't get a chance to meet at the event, my name is Jamie Dietze and I'm the Executive Director of the Chatham Education Foundation. When I'm speaking to a group of donors, I think it's important to lay out CEF's priorities. Our first priority is to provide private funds for Chatham County Schools District's needs that are identified by the school leadership. This year, we will focus our fundraising efforts on the AVID program, which you will hear more about today in this video. Our second priority is to fund and lead a countywide collaborative dedicated to third grade literacy success. Our third priority, we work hard to engage our community in strategies to create fully funded public schools here in Chatham County. With being in North Carolina, we are 47th in the nation in per pupil spending on our public schools. We have an urgent opportunity here in North Carolina to provide a new funding structure for our public schools so that all students can meet their full potential. I wanna share a personal story with you. My husband and I have three kids. We have a seventh grader at Pollard Middle School, an 11th grader at Northwood High School, and our oldest is a graduate of Northwood High School and just finished her freshman year at NC State. My oldest, Alyssa, was a great student for a few reasons. One, she had an internal drive to get all A's, which I wish we could all replicate. Two, her ability to organize and three, she had no learning differences. She went to preschool and frankly grew up in a house with resources. All of that said, after she got to college during her first month, she called me crying one day. And she told me she just wasn't cut out for college. When I asked her why, she said that she was given a textbook and she was supposed to take, take notes and learn independently. I didn't see the problem, so I asked again, well, what's the problem? She then let me know that she had never learned to take notes out of a textbook and learn independently on her own. This was somewhat shocking to me, given that she had a total of four B's during high school, took four community college classes, three AP classes, and was in the top 14th percent of our class. But when I thought about it, teachers and staff probably already assumed that she had these skills because of her academic success. So what did I do? So I jumped in my car, important to note, I own a car, went down to NC State in the middle of the day, important to note that I have a flexible job, and taught Alyssa how to take notes from a textbook. Important to note that I'm a college educated woman and English is my first language. All of these combined allowed me to help Alyssa and get her back on track quickly. Now looking back and knowing more about the AVID program offered as an elective in all of our high schools and two of our middle schools, I now know this program is not just beneficial to first generation students or low income families, but that the skills taught in this program are beneficial to all students across the board, including those like Alyssa. Shortly, you're going to hear from the students and an AVID teacher, and these students are 100% prepared with the skills that I just mentioned, and more. These are skill sets that extend beyond academics, into communication skills, leadership skills, organizational skills, critical thinking skills, and much more. As you hear from the AVID students, imagine if this program were expanded to all of our middle and high schools across Chatham County and how that will impact all students, including our most vulnerable, the 48% of our students in Chatham County schools that qualify for free and reduced lunch, as well as the 13% of our students that receive special education services. Now, let's hear from a few of our AVID students and our AVID teacher from Chatham Central High School. Good morning, my name is Lori Page and I'm the AVID coordinator elective teacher at Chatham Central High School. I am a product of Chatham County Schools and I have been an educator in this district for 22 years. 16 years ago, Chatham County Schools embarked upon an amazing journey. This journey was called AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination. Over the past 16 years, Chatham Central alone has graduated 278 AVID seniors. Counting the students who are currently in the program at Chatham Central, AVID has touched the lives of 343 students and their families in Bear Creek, North Carolina. We are extremely proud and grateful for the opportunities that we as educators have had watching our students transform from freshmen with few honors courses to seniors who are duly enrolled with Central Carolina Community College, therefore leaving Chatham Central with at least 12 hours of college credit. However, many of our students leave with more. Each of our graduating senior AVID classes since the first graduating class in 2009 have had a 100% four-year college acceptance, with most students being accepted into multiple four-year colleges. Last year alone, our 27 seniors were accepted to 173 
four-year colleges and were offered more than $3.6 million in financial scholarship. Our current AVID class data will be presented in a few minutes by our students. When I began to reflect on AVID and my personal experience with the program and the students that I have had the opportunity to work with, there are so many students and their stories that come to mind. Those who have graduated and become military officers, those serving in various positions helping with national security, the many who have traveled abroad and come back to share their experiences, the many that have decided to return to the classroom and teach, many of which are part of Chatham County Schools today, as well as those who are currently enrolled in our medical profession. The list is endless. With each AVID class that goes through the program at Chatham Central, memories from college field trips, to tears shed when AVID students faced hardships and sometimes unimaginable life experiences, to phone calls celebrating the tears of joy when a student received their first college acceptance. Each of us hold those memories that we have endured with each of our AVID classes close to our hearts. Because of the countless number of success stories, the AVID program at Chatham Central set a lofty goal in 2018. Our goal was to become a national demonstration school for the AVID program. That meant that our school would become a place for educators from across the country to come and see best practices being taught and exemplary student learning in every classroom for every student. We took the ideas of AVID and began to implement them school-wide. In 2019, the dream became a reality when Chatham Central High School became the first rural school in the United States to achieve a national demonstration school. All the hard work of the students, faculty, and staff at Chatham Central can now be seen at a national level. We are currently promoting focused note-taking, planners, organized binders, and wicker, writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading strategies to all students in our building. On behalf of the AVID teachers, the AVID site team members, the administration of Chatham Central, and the 278 AVID elective students and their families that have been touched by the AVID program, we thank Chatham County Schools for their dedication and continuous funding for this amazing and life-changing program. To show you the impact this program has had, I have brought with me three seniors from Chatham Central to share their AVID journey with you. Let me introduce Ella Gaines, Tony Hernandez, and Kayla Pilkington. My name is Ella Gaines. From kindergarten to eighth grade, I went to J.S. Waters School. In the fall, I'll be attending Meredith College and double majoring in Sociology and Criminology and minoring in International Studies. When I reach Meredith College, I will have potentially received 33 college credits. Hi, my name is Tony Hernandez. I attended Charter Middle School from 6th to 8th grade, where I was an avid in my 7th and 8th grade years. I will be, I'll also be attending UNCG and now major in Literature, Languages, and Cultures to obtain a French and Spanish K-12 licensure. In the fall, I will potentially have 15 college credits. Hello, my name is Kev Pilkington. I also attended J.S. Waters School from kindergarten to 8th grade. I will be attending the University of North Carolina, Greensboro and majoring in finance. Upon my entry, I will potentially have earned 21 college credits. Ella, why did you apply for AVID in the 8th grade? I applied for AVID to receive help upon researching colleges, applying for financial aid, and applying to college. As a first-generation college student, like some of my fellow peers, I had no older siblings, and my parents did not have experience with financial aid or college applications. The help that AVID promised was instrumental in a, to my decision on applying. Much like Ella, I knew my parents and I would need all the help we could get preparing for college. I was also very interested in the organizational skills, strategies, and methods encouraged by the AVID program. The AVID binder and Cornell note-taking strategies were my biggest motivators to apply. I applied for AVID in the 8th grade mainly because I was already a part of the program and wanted a home base in a new school setting. Getting the help towards the college path and aiding me in applying for financial aid were also other reasons for applying. As a first-generation college student, my prior experience in the program was an important factor to my decision-making on applying and why I believe I was accepted into AVID. My college-oriented academic path and the support I was getting from those around me was mainly the reason for my belief. Similar to Tony, I had the goal of attending a four-year college and had the potential but not the means. I was also highly motivated and prepared to maintain a binder and planner. Much like my peers, I showed an eagerness to learn the strategies that AVID promoted, and I was interested in the college application process. I was also more than willing to use the binder, planner, and other AVID resources and techniques that they had presented to us for college preparation. 
So Ella, we talked about AVID helping us prepare for college. How do you think it helped you transition to high school? Personally, AVID helped me learn to take effective notes with the Cornell note taking method. It also taught me how to study my notes. Having a class with the same group of people also helped me build stronger relationships with my peers that have lasted all four years. While well, I did find the AVID notes useful, the AVID style binder was an amazing help to me. In middle school, I had taken more time finding my work than actually doing it, so an organized binder was very useful. It allowed me to keep all my notes, work, projects, and plans for every class neat and organized, while staying on top of due dates. Having our AVID family was also great for adjustment. It let you have people you could always talk to and rely on. With AVID as a year-long class with the same students and same teacher, it helped me settle into high school, especially as a new student. It kept me on top of my work and organized, and I saw it as a home base to come back to where I had many friends that could help me navigate my social life. Although AVID has helped us in our academic life, Caleb, how do you think AVID has helped us in remote learning? Well, we have begun organizing through AVID not only in our binders, but also by separating our Google Docs and online documents. By doing this, I could easily keep track of my work, where it was, and what I had to do. We also continued tutorials, even in online format. So if I ever needed help, I always had a resource I could rely on. I believe in organized lifestyle and time management skills that I had learned really took a solid role in my life in high school, AVID, and especially during quarantine. This set of skills assisted us through the Grand Canyon that quarantine was. Virtual learning emphasized the importance of self-reliance and time management in an isolated environment. Although the isolation aspect was a major part of the pandemic, AVID and its collaborative activities allowed me to see my classmates and friends. Like Tony, I used time management skills that we developed in Abbott. The flexibility that came with online learning meant that I had to plan out my days and ensure that I completed all of my assignments. Already being in the habit of using a weekly planner and monthly calendar, I was able to plan out my week, get onto Zooms, and then turn in assignments on time. Despite the obstacles of remote learning, how did we manage to get into numerous colleges? In Abbott, we were always a step ahead in the college process, which began during our junior year, so our senior year would be more productive on other work. A hybrid learning experience really boosted the importance of productivity in our learning environments. With AVID, it kept us one step ahead and encouraged us to go past the bare minimum and apply to more colleges, more scholarships, and to always keep a plan. Projects on careers and colleges really opened up many possibilities and the pros and cons of each of our decisions and to always keep a hopeful but realistic view of our future. Preparing to fill out college applications begins junior year. We look at the common application essay prompts and answer each one. Writing these essays not only helps us learn to write these types of personal essays, but they also complete perhaps one of the most dreaded steps of applying to college. We also begin writing our resumes. When the resumes and essays are well written, it can help the students stand out amongst other candidates for college acceptances and scholarships. During our senior year, we began to undertake the process we had long been anticipating. We conducted research on the colleges that we interested us the most, on top of the research we had done in prior years, and the trips we had taken to them. We selected eight colleges that we wanted to apply to, and added walked us through the process of every application, from the similarities to the unique aspects of each college. After we finished college applications and were waiting for news on our acceptance, we began work on filling out scholarships. Now that we are at the end of our high school career, how do you think we can continue using what we have learned through AVID at our next level of education? In college, I will be definitely using the, the organizational skills I learned in AVID. Using both a physical and virtual binder has taught me the value of knowing where all my notes and assignments are. It has also taught me different ways to effectively organize my binder to study and reference past materials. The TRS and study groups in AVID mainly helped us in collaboration in how to ask the right questions to get to the answer through actual teamwork rather than simply saying the answer. Although the exact TRF process wouldn't be used in my college education, study groups and collaborative skills will still be relevant in my college experience. Other things I will definitely be using are planners, organization, and note-taking skills to further enhance my academic learning. Binder, organization, and note-taking strategies are all great takeaways from AVID to bring to college life, but one of the most important I have experienced was the team building activities that we conducted to help us communicate and collaborate with other people. I always had trouble in my interactions with others, but AVID really helped me build my social skills, and I'll be using them along with other strategies constantly to not only survive college, but eventually my future work as well. 
Despite our avid class only having 20 students, we managed to get accepted into over 130 colleges and earn over $3.4 million in scholarships to date. We represent not only our senior classmates, but also our avid peers at Town Central, with almost 100 students participating in the program. Not only do we represent the avid students in our, our school, but also the numerous current and future avid students across the district. Hi, I'm David Hilliard, and I want to thank you for attending our breakfast today. I've been a member, I've been privileged to be a member of the Chatham Education Foundation for the past four years. As a retired educator and a grandfather of two young boys going through the system, I know I have a vested interest in the school system and the organization. I would submit that we all do. I hope that what you heard from Dr. Jackson today and from the avid students from Chatham Central High School has encouraged you, motivated you, and interested you in, interested you in learning more about our organization and the schools. I know that from the top down through the ranks, they're working diligently to set and maintain high standards and at the same time deal with a myriad of, of issues that impact our public schools on a daily basis. I hope that you will be encouraged to get engaged and involved in some way, whether it be volunteering, uh, advocating, just being more informed so that you can help inform others, and also in giving. I know that you all, you all knew that there would be an ask today and it's my privilege to ask you to contribute to support our students in our schools in our county there are several ways that you can do so and so i would direct you to look at your pledge cards now uh, there's one way as being an advocate in which you designate a certain amount to be given each year for five years. A second way is to contribute a monthly amount for a set number of years, how many ever, how many years you want, you choose to, to. Um, and then there of course is a single donation, either by check, credit card, or a gift of stock that you can make to the organization. So please take some time and consider carefully and we would hope that you will give to this organization. And for anything you contribute, we are very grateful. Thank you to those of you who were able to attend our event in Farrington this week. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos, learn more about the Chatham Education Foundation, and learn more about the opportunities for students here in our Chatham County Schools.